When we had mostly finished eating and were filling out the survey, Rika Chan made her return. The long, long trip there. Oh, good work. Did everything go alright? You took a while. I'm sorry. I got lost on the way back. It was a lot of trouble. Ha 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 ha. Rika Chan likes to stray down some pretty strange roads so she gets lost pretty often. How did she get lost just guiding people to the nearby toilet? Everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. Rika has a lot of strong points that more than make up for that. I can see that. That expression in the girls' room. Ah, oh, you're quite the thespian. Keiji was being horrible. He was thinking, if I were in their shoes, I'd just run over her and rush into the washroom. What? Did what I was thinking show off my face again? Keiji Kun was a pervert. No, I mean. <laughs> Yes, just laugh it off, just laugh it off. <laughs> I could laugh about it then, but a few days later, a newspaper headline read, 10 unidentified men were taken into custody in Heidi Ayama. The men claimed they travelled from Shishibon City by foot to find a toilet, but the spot they were taken into custody was XX kilometres away from Shishibon. When I read that article, I realised how terrifying Rika Chan really was. How did she... How far did you send them? Did you like go just down this road after so so far? Anyway, well, thanks for treating me. I'm happy that you called me here today. And you guys also met Xion as well. Oh, are you going home already? You can stay a little longer. I was in the middle of organizing some drawers. If I leave it like that, I won't be able to put out this futon. Ah, I guess that's true. Oops, looks like called her at a bad time. But what a nice Red be able to drop what she's doing to come aid us. Yeah, when Red phoned her, she was in the middle of cleaning her room. But she still came. Well, it was an emergency, so it couldn't be helped. Besides, that... Besides that, I got to eat a lot of I got to eat lots of sweets, so I'm very happy. Thanks for today. Sorry for calling you out calling you out suddenly. Tell Shion I said bye. I'll be taking my leave then. Renaissance, please take your time. Yeah, I will. Later. Rika and Sakuto, in a good mood, horsed around with each other as they left. And we spent some. We spent the afternoon with, with Renna. Is this the end for this chapter? There a bit more. Ah, there we go. When Renna and I were having a discussion about the dessert we just ate, she arrived with some coffee. Oh. Uh, did the two little ones leave already? Hearing them called the little ones was so strange, I inadvertently burst out laughing. <laughs> Apparently they were in the middle of cleaning so they went home. Chion had brought enough coffee for four people. I heard from my senior. It seems that you went through a lot of trouble for my sake. Yeah, I'm surprised you're... Like, seeing your waitress, like, helped us out. There was no trouble at all. None other than Shi Chan was in a. None other than Shi Chan was in a pinch after all. Oh, is it alright if I call you Shi Chan? It matches with me Chan, so I thought it'd be cute. Ah, uh, well, whatever you want. She always seemed a bit hesitant when Rena started talking to her. Rena was pretty sharp about some things. So Xion was probably worried that Reda would find out she was me after talking like this. Xion said she had, she had uh, she'd have work soon and hurried off back to the kitchen, leaving behind coffee just for the two of us. She was a bit upset with Reda. Maybe she thought I was being too friendly. Ah. She was just embarrassed. Still, they really do look the same. 
instead of twins, there it's like they're another. It, they're the bear. Instead of twins, it looks like there's another beach chat. They look the same, but the atmosphere around them, or rather, their insides, are completely different. I think those types of twins are pretty interesting, though. You think that, Keiichi Kun? I think they're identical on the inside too. Why? Why are we hearing? The sounds of insects while we're indoors in, uh, as they put it, a soundproof restaurant and air-conditioned. Uh, how are these insects getting in here? It somehow became silent. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. And then with the insects that we're hearing, not the atmosphere. Rena was just uh, airing at the pattern the milk made on the surface of her coffee without saying a word. Somebody like me who could never stop talking, it was a rather uncomfortable moment. Rena's off put mannerisms seemed to imply I said something I shouldn't have. That unpleasantness carried on for a while. Rena, you said it was today, right? That Mion was hurting. Did I say something like that? Yeah, when you, you know, started to spin around a lot for some reason. Don't play dumb with me. You definitely said it on the way home from school. Rena answered by laughing while continuing to play dumb, questioning if she said that. As thick headed as I was, I had a faint realization. Rena wanted to say that I was the one who hurt me on. But when? Me? Hypothetically, if something like that happened, it's not something I did out of malice. I continued the conversation, but out of the assumption that I had hurt me on. Yeah, I think that's true. I don't think Keiichi could have had any bad intentions. Rena replied, also leaving out the assumption that I had hurt me on, but that confirmed it. I don't know how it happened, but it seemed that I had hurt me on, and Rena was upset with me due to the fact I hadn't realised it. I don't want you to misunderstand, it's not like Rena is mad at you. Seeing right through what I was thinking, Rena said that as she smiled even more gently than usual. It's just that, how do I say this? It's hard. If I made a mistake, please say so clearly. I'm so thick-headed I disgust even myself. If there's something I sh should apologise for, then I'd want to know even a little quicker so I can make up for it. I don't think that cage gun had been... I don't think that cage gun had a bear. I don't think that cage gun made a mistake. Depending on how you look at it, Bichan might be the one who's being unfair. Taking the stance that the girl was the one being unfair might be unfair in itself. What Rena said was draped in mystery. Unfortunately, I had no idea what she meant. The only thing I got out of it was that I had said or done something to inadvertently hurt me on. I'm begging you, Rena. Mion is one of my best friends. I don't want to leave something between us that could cause a problem that could cause problems later on. So tell me, how did I hurt her? I can't tell you. You need to realize something like this for yourself. Rena was smiling like she always did, but spoke bleh, but spoke bluntly. The fact that she had this strength of will surprised me for a moment. I'm asking you because I can't figure it out, you know. My tone had unintentionally become harsh. I was also surprised for a moment, but quickly returned to her flat demeanor. Well then, I guess just a hint is fine. This is special, okay? Sorry. Please. I'll think about this seriously. Rena looked around the restaurant searching for Xion. Xion was working enthusiastically, but without confidence as usual. Yi-chan, if she ties her hair up, it's impossible to tell her apart from Mi-chan, right? Yep, that's true. So then, so if Mi-chan let down her hair, would she be impossible to tell from Shi-chan? Probably. But what does that have to do with anything? 
What if? What if that her being the younger twin was a lie? That she was just Mi-chan pretending to be her sister? What do you think? Rena was sharper than her daily behaviour belied. I was hesitant verbally confirming, affirming that, but it was the right answer. It might be unfair to answer a question with another question, but if you, like you say, Mion is just pretending to be Xion, what purpose would that serve? After maintaining the silence for a while, Rena glanced at the clock. That's what I want you to think about. Hmm, maybe that was maybe too much of a hint, huh? After thanking me for the dessert, Rena stood up from her seat. Sorry, I was asked to buy a few things, so it's about time I left. Is it okay with you if I tell Xion I'm sorry? I didn't say goodbye. Yeah, I'll tell her. Sorry. Huh? That Rena is so short-tempered. Sorry for getting angry. Keiji-kun isn't the only one at fault here. Rena was harsh in her apology, but I was the one who really should have apologised. I think to Mi-chan, it's something that doesn't bother her too much. So if you want to forget the whole thing, ha the whole thing happened, that's fine too. But you see, as a girl, I hope that Keiji-kun realises it by herself and comes to apologise of his own volition. <sighs> so she's a mode only at the end, he disappeared in the direction of the register. What was she going cute all about? Oh, the uniforms. Oh, she didn't kidnap a waitress. While I was staring into space, somebody suddenly tapped me on the shoulder. Sorry to keep you waiting. Why, why with the uh, scary face, Xion? <laughs> I'm finally done. It was Xion who had changed into her street clothes. He flashed a smile while greeting me. Thank you so much for today. Everything was delicious. We were, we were all really happy with it. Oh no, don't mention it. But I'm glad everybody had fun. Huh? That girl that was just here left as well? She had some shopping to do. He said she was leaving for... Yeah, she was sorry for leaving without saying anything. I see. Well then, should we leave as well? Even though I'm off duty, I'm still nervous around the workplace. We ended up strolling around out to any destination in particular. I had been sitting the entire time, so I was in need of a breath of fresh air. Yes, that delicious, delicious city air out there. 